hearing how one little girl survived the massacre. And my colleague Lara is back now with that story. It's an incredible story. Dan, it is an unbelievable story of 16 kids in this classroom. One survived. I spoke last night with the pastor who has been counseling this little girl's mother. It is a harrowing story of how a first grader lived by playing dead. You have one parishioner who was right there, a little girl, a first yes. grader. She was the first student who ran out of the Sandy Hook school, six and a half years old. She ran out of the school building covered in blood from head to toe. And the first words she said to her mom when she got outside was, Mommy, I'm okay, but all of my friends are dead. Somehow, in that moment, by God's grace, was able to act as if she was already deceased. Was she the only child in that class that survived? Yes. Of those who were left in the classroom, of first graders, she was the lone survivor. What did she tell her mom? What did she see in there? Well, she saw someone who she felt was angry and somebody who she felt was very mad. How at six and a half years old can you be that smart, that mm. brave? Mm. I think it's impossible outside of divine intervention. She has wisdom beyond her years. How are the mom and dad doing? I think as well as you can expect them to do. And they must be relieved to have their child, but on the other hand, so yes, many the mom feelings. told me, and I thought this was very insightful, that she was suffering from what she called survivor's guilt because so many of her friends no longer have their children, but she has hers. A long road ahead, just an incredible story of survival and all by a six-year-old girl.